there, traveler. Zhao. Did something happen? I have five primal gems. Perhaps you can tell me about it. And maybe I can do something to make you feel better. Give me Zhao. What is up? Welcome back to another Whisker Chan Vega video. It's your boy Whisker Chan in the building. And as you all do know, we recently, finally, just got the 1.3 update. Everything that 1.3 is going to have in it. And surprisingly, it is it is kind of crazy. It is something we all least expected. But anyway, we're going to go over all of this in today's video. And yes, if you are asking, Zhao will be the first banner of 1.3. So have your Primo Gems ready. And as you've seen, Barbara, um, I'm pretty sure she'll try to help you as best she can. You better ask for some Primo Gems while you still can't. Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and get right into this banger video. But before we do, if you are new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below. And join the subscribers on the grind to 2,600. And also hit the notification bell down below to be notified of all my daily uploads because we do upload really daily. So, also hit that like button down below if you're going to enjoy this content. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into all this information. Okay, guys. First thing I want to look at is the new 1.3 trailer for, like, almost everything. But mainly a trailer of Zhao. And this is actually our first official trailer of Zhao throughout this whole thing, right? So, let's look at it. Woo! Guys, there's a lot that 1.3 has. I'm not going to lie to you. There is so much. And y'all are going to be very surprised about the summons and whatnot. Like, really surprised. Oh, my God. Sea Lantern Festival is right around the corner, guys. February 3rd. Y'all already know. Couple days. Less than two weeks and we're going to have this. So many stars. Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> wow. Look how beautiful this game is. All that glitters. Oh, that's a new that's a new game mode we're gonna have new challenges new you know new way to get primal gym and stuff. There seems to be something mysterious about this photographic apparatus. If you're able to, <clears throat> could you try to convince? Yeah! Let's go, best boy! Oh my God, so many primal gems are gonna be spent on this dude. Here we go, the village. The Vigilant Yaksha. Y'all hear that music? Ooh! Cry. He's cold! And then we have new events, like I said. These events are probably most likely yeah, going to provide rewards and whatnot, depending on, you know, everything. Looks pretty complex, but it's going to be explained. That is a new monster, as you can see. I think that is called... It's not a... Uh, it's a, it's a Vio shop, I think. That is a Primal shop. Primal V shop. And that is a new weapon that uh, Zinqui was holding. Now, another thing to note is that that spear... I'm pretty sure that spear is 100% supposed to be next to Hutao's banner. So, that's why I'm confused as to why they're doing the banners they're doing in this update. Because there, there's like, let me cut this down. There's banners that they're doing in the update. And as as you can see, there's multiple, uh, you know, elements for the Primal uh, Vial Shop or V Shop. And basically what I'm saying is, yes, this is coming to third. All this is coming to third. But the banners they are doing in 1.3 confuses me, right? Since they showed off Hu Tao's weapon that is, you know, supposed to be right next to our banner. Usually release a weapon that's perfect for the character right next to their banner. Why would they release it in this update if they're releasing these characters? Yes, as you can see, we're supposed to be getting our boy Zhao on February the 3rd, which is the first banner of 1.3. So guys, I hope you have your Primal Gems up. And then the second banner of 1.3 is none other than Kachin. And now, I am really confused about this. She is going to have her very first character event wish. And I'm like, bro, wait a minute now. You are... How are they even going to release Hu Tao's weapon? Are they going to release it on the side of Kaching's banner? Or are they going to release it on the side of Zhao's banner? And th that kind of makes sense considering that, you know, Zhao's elemental uh, burst does, like, take a lot of HP, sort of. So giving him a weapon that gives HP kind of makes sense at the same time. But, like, wow, it's crazy that we thought that it was perfect for, you know, we thought that weapon, that spear was perfect for Hu Tao. And now they're probably going to put it next to Zhao's banner. So Zhao's going to be having the 
weapon that Hutao we thought all oh, we all thought Hutao was supposed to get. So I'm pretty sure that's how it's gonna happen. That's how that weapon's gonna come in. And the sword that we seen Jin Zin Kui or Jin Kui with, um, that's gonna probably be on the side of her banner, which is Kaching. So it's gonna be Kaching's banner of her weapon is gonna be that sword, that green sword that Jin Kui had. And the spear that Zhao Lang had is going to be on the side of Zhao's banner, most likely. So for sure, that is very, very as a turn of events. I can't believe that Hu Tao is probably actually no, she's not coming. She's not coming in this update. This was a big turnaround. I'd never in all my life, what, never in all my life would have thought that they would have released. I think they changed it. She, I'm, I'm pretty sure that uh, Hu Tao is supposed to come out in this patch. But I'm pretty sure they changed it, and uh, boom, we have Kaching, and she is a actual. You could get Kaching from the normal inter, not even Interswine, the Acquaint Faint. You could literally get her from Acquaint Faint. You don't even need Interswine Faint. Like she's always available to you if you get lucky. But Zhao won't be, Hutao won't be. So that's why I'm like, why are they giving her a character event wish? Like it's kind of confusing. But it's still gonna be extremely good, right? And yes, we have lots of events coming in 1.3, guys. Like, lots of events. Lots of ways to get primal gems. Lots of fun little games and whatnot. It's going to be very good. Okay, so right here, guys. Look at this. You log in for seven days. It's the first thing I've seen. Because free to play players, I already know y'all been waiting for stuff like this in a gacha game this big. Log in for seven days to get Intertwined Fate times 10. That's a free multi, guys. That is a free multi. Say, for example, those people that are out there that are like, bro, I have literally only, you know, I've did 70 or 80 pulls. I just need one more pull and I get the guaranteed or I just need one more pull and I got pity and I might get them. You know, like I might have that 50% chance I might get them. Well, guys, log in for seven days and you get a free intertwine times 10 fate. That is really cool. And as you can see, we have Night Sky Grace. These are all the events that we're getting in 1.3. We are getting tons of events in 1.3. This is Night Sky's Grace. As you can see, the Lantern Right gifts. You can obtain Primal Gems. Fragile Resin. Fragile Resin from an event, guys. And then Talent Level Up Materials and more. This is going to be so good. And then considering that the Battle Pass is being updated to where the Sojourners, which is the free part of the Battle Pass, is going to provide us Fragile Resin. It's going to change up the free-to-play player, you know, base way better. It's going to make it way better because we're going to be able to grind a little bit more every Battle Pass, you know. So anyway, we have this right here. Choose one Liyue UA character. Stand by me. So I'm not sure if you could actually, like, choose the character and keep them. But that would be insane because they have Xin Yan and they have Ning Guang and Beto. They have all these characters on there. It's extremely good. But I'm pretty sure everybody or most people are going to go for uh, Xin Yan or Beto and Ning Guang. Most likely. Because I'm pretty sure everybody has a lot of Jing, uh, Zhao Ling and Jing Kui uh, dupes. Or Jing... Yeah, you know, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm so sorry for pronouncing it wrong, guys. Because y'all always uh, correct me. But I'm sorry. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure that if you could actually pick a character... It, that would be insane. That would actually be insane if you could just keep them and pick the character, whether it's for Constellation or whether it's your first character that's like, you know, Ning Guang or uh, Zhen Yan or something. So that's pretty cool. I mean, I have all these characters anyway that, you know, I mean, I'm just talking about free-to-play players, but that is cool that you get to use these characters. So that's really cool. So choose wisely. <laughs> and then we have this right here, which is Five Flushes of Fortune. Oh my God. This is what I seen in the, uh, when I was watching the live stream this morning, or this is pre-recorded, but when I was watching the live stream, you literally take pictures of certain things and you bring it back to the man and you go swap the photos and collect all five colors to earn primal gems and one three random rewards. They're heroes with mystic enhancement or or mora. And that is extremely cool. Just taking pictures and you get all this free You're getting so much like this is like this is like a festival. Like this is like a festival event. Like this is like uh what how do I explain this? This is like a very big update to where it's like this is like a LR character or something like that. If you want to like think of it like that because we're getting tons of events we're getting free intertwined fate when have they ever done that we're getting you know get to choose one of these characters to play in the lancer right which is going to be pretty cool we get a lot of free primos a lot of free fragile resin a lot of free mora a lot of free you know enhancement or as well as wits it's going to be insane and then uh right, right here we have vice shops and where to find them to participate uh well participate and earn primal gems talent level up materials weapon essential materials and more the lantern right market or Zhao market right exchange for name cards crown of insight and dust of azoth so that's cool gives us chances to get these crowns and you're probably asking what is dust of azoth for so usually when you 
kill or when you destroy one of the plants or anything of that nature whether yeah yeah i think it's a plant right it is a plant or you know one of the bosses that have you know the crystal shards say for example you destroy the animal right you destroy the animal um hypostasis then you drop one of those big green shards say for example you don't need a you don't need a big green shard you need a yellow green shard right or <laughs> your yellow green you need a big yellow shard right so then you could go to your you know um craftsman and go craft and then change that green one to a yellow one as long as you have one of these right here these dust of azoth so you can really change any it's like an exchange of it like you could change your yellows to greens or greens to reds reds to blues all that as long as you have the dust of azoth of course so that's going to be pretty cool considering that a lot of people are going to need a lot of materials probably for zhao because he is coming really fast and people probably didn't know people were probably grinding for hutao and if you really want zhao then definitely it's a little bit too late to grind. I mean, you can still grind, but like these, these is less than two weeks. It's going to be pretty hard. But still, guys, these are all the events we're getting in 1.3. This is going to be absolutely insane. Free primal gems, free everything, everything, literally all this on this right here is free. Free primal gems, free interest, free intertwined fate, 10 of them, a full multi, and then fragile resin, title level up materials, and more. And even if we get crowns on this event, and we even get wits, we even get enhancement, we get mora. We get to play one of these beautiful Liyue characters. Jesus, this is going to be so good. And also, this is the land to the right uh, thing right here. This is the event. As you can see, like, we're going to have tons of events for 1.3, but this is a land to the right story, land to the right tales, theater, mechanicus, and Zhao market. We have a lot of things in store for us for this land to the right event and for this sea land to the right event overall. We have been waiting for this for far too long, and honestly, I feel like this is definitely what they should have done. This is really, really good. I love that it's a very, very big update. It has tons of content, definitely a lot of content, and lots of ways to earn things like Mora, like It's Twin Fate, Wits, everything. Like, it, it has so much, and then you also can have fun as well. And as I said, like I said, there is literally... A new monster. Well, there's two of them actually. This is a Geo Vice Shop, a mature Geo Vice Shop. It is said that after many years have passed, Geo Vice Shop hatchlings will shed their armor and uh, that originally protect them and become Geo V Shops, right? So, as you can see, this is going to be a new type of monster that will be like you know, farmable, as you can see. And but this is not, do not get this confused with the Primal V Shop. That thing is a whole nother breed. This right here is still really, really strong though. It looks really good. Oh my god, look how good it looks. Jesus Christ. And then there's the Primo Geo V Shop. This is pretty, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like a boss type thing because of the fact it drops Ascension materials, which makes me lead. It's gonna, it's gonna be a boss. So it's gonna be a really, really tough boss. And it has multiple elements. It doesn't just have Geo. I think it has like, uh,. It has pyro, cryo, electro, all that. Like, it has everything. So, the primal geo shop is a mystical beast. After many years, the awesomely powerful ancient geo shop grow accustomed to changes in their elemental environment and become primal geo shops. If they live long enough, because I've been farming them way too much, no wonder they ain't been growing. <laughs> anyway, that is what it looks like. This is a really cool design. We've seen some leaks of this in Closed Beta Test 3 when Zhao was fighting it, or, you know, the whole team was fighting it, really. And this is what it is. Look at it. It is monstrous. It's nothing compared to the one that we just seen. Does tons of damage, probably 100%. As you can see, it has different elements. Water, pyro, electro. You know, like, it's it's literally insane, right? And it's, this is going to be insane. We're going to have... This, honestly, when Zhao drops, this is going to this is gonna be what we're going to have to farm, considering that he does need those shards. He needs those shards from the Primal Geo Shop. So we're going to have to be farming that a lot. <laughs> Another thing to note is that, yes, if you are still wondering, is Hutao coming? She's basically guaranteed not to come. They would have showed her in here if she was, but as you can see, Zhao's in here. So you already know. Of course, he's, con he's confirmed for literally February 3rd. So And then Kaching is confirmed for February 17th. So basically, yes, Hutao is probably not coming in this update at all. We are going to have to, to wait for that. And that is the saddest thing ever. But also it's the best thing ever because it gives you time to save for Hutao. Because I know there are a lot of people out there that want to save for Hutao in the first place, right? So anyway, there's, this is another event, as you can see, uh, where you can put teams. You can, it requires two people. And yeah, so this is going to be really cool. But yeah, other than that, that's what I really want to discuss about this right here. 
Sadly, we are not getting Hu Tao, but look forward to it. We are getting Zhao on February the 3rd, and we are getting Kaching Event Banner or Event Wish on February the 17th. And also another thing to note on the, there's a lot of information, I'm sorry guys. On the V-Shops hunt or whatever you want to call it, the bounty, you get these bounty rewards for these wits. And I cannot stress to you, stress to you enough, this is so important. Because these wits are really, really good. I'm telling you, like, you're going to need these. If you are a low AR player right now, you will not understand the importance of this right now. But this is very important. So definitely farm this event once it comes out. Get as many of these as you can. Do as many of these bounties as you possibly can once you can. And, yeah, just want to let you know uh, that as well. And this is also the thing I was talking about with the uh, this right here. This Azoth Dust, basically you could change any color you want to a different color as you can see. It depends, it's just like you have to have this stuff right here, the Azoth Dust, as well as the Crystal as well. And you could transform it as you, you he's trying to transform it to yellow. So as you can see, you definitely could switch it up, which is very beneficial I think. But at the same time, uh, this is, it's, it's, I'm happy that it's free. I'm happy that it's not like saying, okay, we need three red ones to make one yellow one. I'm happy they're not doing that. Because if they were doing that, that would have been extremely bad. So yeah, they're doing one to get one, and then you just have to use your Azoth Dust. So just in case you need like a couple more animal ones or whatnot, you just go straight to them, and then switch it out with the Azoth Dust, and boom, you got it. But yeah, here is some more Zhao footage that they have officially you know, put out and whatnot that y'all have probably not seen yet. And that, yeah, that is him with his best weapon, basically. But like I said, they're probably releasing Hu Tao's weapon next to him, 100%. Now I think about it, look how cool that is. Look, y'all seen all those energy particles, right? I know I'm not tripping. Anyway, this is beautiful. Absolutely. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I'm 100% simp. Look at the, the black and green aesthetic from attacking. Bro, that's enough to put me in tears. I gotta get him now. And like the plunge damage, he's literally a god, bro. He doesn't, he doesn't care. I feel like definitely, guys, this character is just gonna be whack. 100% I'm summoning for I'm probably gonna well for him. It depends. I gotta look at this money, bro <laughs> So for sure, this is gonna be really really good But that's really about it for this video all the updates what's gonna happen what banners are we getting in 1.3 officially? And yeah, so it's a good thing that we waited a little bit for this video I am uh, or yeah, we waited a little bit for this video happy that the live stream released so much content It's gonna be so fun 1.3 is gonna be so fun guys y'all get ready for this. It is gonna be hype we are going to be turning up that Lancer Festival. We're going to have tons of events, tons of ways to get Primal Gems, tons of ways to get everything that's farmable in that event and whatnot. But yeah, so thank you for watching. I hope you did enjoy it, and I hope you are hyped for this like I am. This is going to be a very fun, this is going to be the best update so far, 100%. And yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you smash the subscribe button down below. Join the subscribers on the grind to 2,600. And also hit that like button down below and cut on notifications if you want to be notified of all my daily uploads. But without further ado, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.